Hey y'all, let's take a look at opposites today. And an opposite is defined as what you add to a number to get the opposite of a number. If you add it to the number, you add them both together, you'll get zero. That's what an opposite is. So can you visualize a number line? Like here's a, uh, you know, like a negative seven and a seven. Add them both together, boom, you're right there at zero. So, okay, that's an opposite. All right, let's look at some of these um, ways that they do this. You could read this as negative two, or you could read it as minus two. I used to work with a guy um, at a high school. He would not use the word minus or negative. He used opposite every time. So, um, uh, cool. You know, it's the same thing. So, this is the opposite of 2. Now, look at this. This is the opposite of the opposite of 2. Well, this part right here, if that's the opposite of 2, well, the opposite of the opposite of 2 is just back to 2, right? Okay? How about this one? The opposite of the opposite of the opposite of 2, that's going to be negative two, then the opposite of that is positive two, then the opposite of positive two is negative two again. And I bet you know it's coming next, right? Okay. All right, that's the opposite of two, but that's gonna be two. And then the opposite of two is negative two. And then the opposite of negative two is gonna be two again. So there is kind of a pattern here that you can look at. So an even number of negatives or opposite signs means that it's gonna be a positive number. An odd number means it's going to be a negative number. Like a, there's one of them there. One's an odd number, right? Three is an odd number. One, two, three. It's an opposite as well. That's the rule. So that's all you need to know. Okay. So let's look at this. The answer is positive two, right? Just two. All right. How about that one? The opposite of the opposite of the opposite of eight is negative eight, right? Okay. How about that one? Ooh, that's kind of tricky. There's something new in there. A little positive, right? We don't care. What's the opposite of positive three? Negative three. There's an there's an uh, you know an odd number. So how about that one? Negative six, and the opposite of negative six is positive six, right? There's an even number, so it's positive. Okay, so let's do this together. All right, what's the answer to this going to be? Well, there's four negative signs, right, or opposite signs. So the answer is a positive six, right? Okay, how about this one? Five, right? So you got five, that's an odd number, so the answer is going to be negative seven. Okay, how about this one? Now we threw something funky in there. Look at that. We still have, you still just don't mess with the positive, that just stays the same. You just count the, the negative. So that's a negative four, right? The opposite of negative four is positive four. Positive four, positive four is just positive four, but the opposite of positive four is negative four. That's going to be your answer. And there you go. Okay, look on page 247 and uh, try the practice problems and pause it when you do A and come on back when you do A. Okay, well, let's look at A. The answer to A is negative three. Okay, pause it and try B. B is gonna be, there's four of them, so it's gonna be positive seven. Okay, pause it and try C. Okay, and that's gonna be a positive, right? Be positive. Okay, pause it and try D. Okay. D, I don't, don't worry about the, po the plus signs. You just worry about the negative signs, right? The opposite signs. There are three opposite signs in that, unless I'm reading that wrong. So that means the answer will be negative. And there you go. Okay. Go to it. Hey, these are going to be fun and short ones for you in your problem set. So go to it. See you next time. Take care.